What is hacking? How do hackers hack? In this video, we are going to discuss what hacking is, how hackers hack and the consequences of hacking. We will also discuss some basic steps you can take to protect yourself from being hacked. So please watch the video and let us know what you think. What is hacking? Hacking refers to activities that seek to compromise digital devices such as computers, smartphones, tablets, and even entire networks. And while hacking might not always be for malicious purposes, nowadays most references to hacking and hackers characterize it slash them as unlawful activity by cyber criminals motivated by financial gain, protest, information gathering, spying, and even just for the fun of the challenge. Who are hackers? Many think that hacker refers to some self was kid or rogue programmer skilled at modifying computer hardware or software so it can be used in ways outside the original developer's intent. But this is a narrow view that doesn't begin to encompass the wide range of reasons why someone turns to hack. How do hackers hack? Hacking is typically technical in nature, like creating malvertising that deposits malware in a drive-by attack requiring no user interaction. But hackers can also use psychology to trick the user into clicking on a malicious attachment or providing personal data. These tactics are referred to as social engineering. In fact, it's accurate to characterize hacking as an overarching umbrella term for activity behind most if not all of the malware and malicious cyber attacks on the computing public, businesses, and governments. Ethical hacking? White, black, and gray hats. There's also another way we parse hackers. Remember the classic old western movies? Good guys equals white hats. Bad guys equals black hats. Today's cybersecurity frontier retains that Wild West vibe, with white hat and black hat hackers, and even a third in-between category. If a hacker is a person with a deep understanding of computer systems and software, and who uses that knowledge to somehow subvert that technology, then a black hat hacker does so for stealing something valuable or for other malicious reasons. So it's reasonable to assign any of those four motivations, theft, reputation, corporate espionage, and nation-state hacking, to the black hats. White hat hackers, on the other hand, strive to improve the security of an organization's security systems by finding vulnerable flaws so that they can prevent identity theft or other cyber crimes before the black hats notice. Corporations even employ their own white hat hackers as part of their support staff, as a recent article from the New York Times Online Edition highlights. Or businesses can even outsource their white hat hacking to services such as HackerOne, which tests software products for vulnerabilities and bugs for a bounty. Finally, there's the gray hat crowd, hackers who use their skills to break into systems and networks without permission, just like the black hats. But instead of wreaking criminal havoc, they might report their discovery to the target owner and offer to repair the vulnerability for a small fee. Hacking Prevention If your computer, tablet, or phone is at the bullseye of the hacker's target, then surround it with concentric rings of precautions. Anti-malware protection First and foremost, download a reliable anti-malware product or app for the phone, which can both detect and neutralize malware and block connections to malicious phishing websites. Of course, whether you're on Windows, Android, a Mac, an iPhone, or in a business network, we recommend the layered protection of malware bytes for Windows, malware bytes for Mac, malware bytes for Android, malware bytes for Chromebook, malware bytes for iOS, and malware bytes business products. Be careful with apps. Second, only download phone apps from the legitimate marketplaces that police themselves for malware-carrying apps, such as Google Play and Amazon App Store. Note that Apple policy restricts iPhone users to download only from the App Store. Even so, every time you download an app, check the ratings and reviews first. If it has a low rating and a low number of downloads, it is best to avoid that app. Protect your info. Know that no bank or online payment system will ever ask you for your login credentials, social security number, or credit card numbers by means of email. Update your software. Whether you're on your phone or a computer, make sure your operating system remains updated. And update your other resident software as well. Browse carefully. Avoid visiting unsafe websites and never download unverified attachments or click on links in unfamiliar emails. You can also use Malwarebytes Browser Guard for safer browsing. Password safety. All the above is basic hygiene and always a good idea. But the bad guys are forever looking for a new way into your system. 
If a hacker discovers one of the passwords that you use for multiple services, they have apps that can breach your other accounts. So make your passwords long and complicated, avoid using the same one for different accounts, and instead use a password manager. Because the value of even a single hacked email account can rain disaster down on you. Know that no bank or online payment system will ever ask you for your login credentials, social security number, or credit card numbers by means of email. Hacking on Android phones. While most associate hacking with Windows computers, the Android operating system also offers an inviting target for hackers. A bit of history, early hackers who obsessively explored low-tech methods for getting around the secure telecommunication networks and expensive long-distance calls of their era were originally called freaks, a combination of the words phone and freaks. They were a defined subculture in the 1970s, and their activity was called freaking. Nowadays, freakers have evolved out of the analog technology era and become hackers in the digital world of more than 2 billion mobile devices. Mobile phone hackers use a variety of methods to access an individual's mobile phone and intercept voicemails, phone calls, text messages, and even the phone's microphone and camera, all without that user's permission or even knowledge. Cybercriminals could view your stored data on the phone, including identity and financial information. Why Android? Compared to iPhones, Android phones are much more fractured, whose open-source nature and inconsistencies in standards in terms of software development put the Androids at a greater risk of data corruption and data theft. And any number of bad things result from Android hacking. Cyber criminals could view your stored data on the phone, including identity and financial information. Likewise, hackers can track your location, force your phone to text premium websites, or even spread their hack with an embedded malicious link to others among your contacts who will click on it because it appears to come from you. Of course, legitimate law enforcement might hack phones with a warrant to store copies of texts and emails, transcribe private conversations, or follow the suspect's movements. But black hat hackers could definitely do harm by accessing your bank account credentials, deleting data, or adding a host of malicious programs. I hope you guys surely like and enjoy our video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.